what percentage of Voyager Digital user funds will be returned and how exactly will the process to withdraw crypto work? Today, we're going to take a look at just that. Let's jump right into it. So we're here on the official Voyager, investvoyager.com blog, and it's going to talk about how to withdraw crypto as well as how much of your funds you're going to be able to withdraw. The app is now open for crypto transfers for the approved 30-day period. So from June 23rd, 11.08 EDT, you have 30 days to withdraw your funds. So I would highly suggest you doing that now, right after watching this video. So to receive your initial crypto recovery in kind, you must transfer all available crypto from your Voyager account to a designated wallet address. So that's any wallet that you want, a ledger, MetaMask, US-based exchange, or anything like that. The only thing you cannot do is a non-US exchange. Now, if you don't if you have a token where you cannot transfer it out because it's less than the transfer fees, the value of the token is less than the transfer fees, you're not going to be able to complete the transfer and you're going to, this crypto is going to be sold for you at a later date and you're going to receive the payment in US dollars. But I mean that that shouldn't be the case for any of you guys, uh, since usually people have a little bit more lying on the exchange. Now, here are some FAQs. How do I transfer the crypto? Open the Voyager app, go to the recovery screen. Specify the token you want to transfer, review the crypto transfer disclosure, um, and then just enter your wallet address, enter the amount, which is all of it, um, slide right to transfer, two-step verification, and then you're going to be processed, your transaction is going to be processed right after you complete your email confirmation. Um, so it's going to take three to seven days for the withdrawal to complete. Can you cancel cancel it? No, you cannot cancel a withdrawal after it's done. So make sure that you have the wallet address right. What are the fees on crypto transfers? Depends on the blockchain, obviously. I am unable to transfer all of my tokens or I get an in-app error message. If you have a balance, this is the same thing that it says before. If you have a balance that's less than the transfer fees, you're going to get that at a later date in US dollars. And finally, I'm seeing transactions I didn't make. What are these transactions in my account? So this basically means that their the creditors portfolios were rebalanced to achieve the initial recovery of 35.72%, which is how much you're getting back 35.72%. So these rebalancing transactions are going to be in your transaction history under transfers, uh, because they did move away some funds which were spent on lawyers, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. We already know that this was a huge disaster. But that is why you may see some transactions that you don't recognize. But the total that you're getting back is 35.72%. And I would suggest that you go there right now and withdraw as much as you can. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.